Hello, this video is for vegans, people who already follow the plant-based diet and also have the lifestyle factors of not consuming or using or exploiting animals in any part of their life. No zoos, no horseback riding, no animal tested products, that kind of stuff. The vegan, truly vegan lifestyle, not just the diet. So these vegans, I'm addressing you. If you accidentally eat or use something accidentally that is not vegan, animal products or whatever, or just ignorantly, um, like maybe you go horseback riding when you're first gone vegan and then later on you realize, whoops, that wasn't, I didn't even think of that, you didn't know. Ignorance, it's okay. Now you know, move on from that and change your ways. That's okay. Um, if you intentionally consume animal products knowing that there is dairy in a dish that your family has made or know that you shouldn't go to the zoo but you do anyway, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's what people are getting really mad about here on YouTube about this, this girl, Supreme Banana. Nice girl, but she's not ethically vegan. She's got some growing to do. She's got a journey that she's on. She's gonna get there to compassion. We're all trying our best. If you are trying, honestly trying, really, truly giving it your all every day to not have any animal products or animal exploitation or anything like that, truly aiming for the compassionate vegan lifestyle, you're doing good. Keep it up, nice. If you uh, do the thing where you, oh, I want to be naughty today. No, try harder. You, you, you can do better. I know that you can be more passionate. Come passionate. You can, you can always be better, right? Push yourself to be better. Okay. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Very informal video, very quick. Probably not a very clear message, but it's about intention versus accident. Maybe this contradicts my plant-based versus vegan video, but that was more about just semantics. This is more about um, vegans, maybe you accidentally eat something, you feel really guilty about it, that's okay, that's good that you feel guilty. That means that you're trying to do better. Vegans who uh, intentionally eat something and don't feel bad about it, intentionally knowing, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Bye. So that was a very disorganized video, but here's the summary, the main idea. On the one hand, we have vegans, current vegans, who slip up accidentally, unintentionally, ignorantly. That's okay. Move on. Do not beat yourself up over it, but do do better. This is why education on the vegan diet and vegan lifestyle is so, so important so that you don't do things ignorantly um, just because of lack of knowledge. So be knowledgeable. On the other hand, we have vegans who intentionally do something wrong because of uh, many reasons. Cravings. It's all they had to eat. Um, and they, they didn't want to go one day without eating. Those, those are not okay reasons. If you intentionally consume animal products, that's not vegan. Sorry. But I am not the vegan police. There is no vegan police. Cue Scott Pilgrim vs. the World's vegan police here. That scene. Um, but you, sh you should want to do better. You should want it inside your own heart intrinsically. You should, you should want that to do better, to be more compassionate. I can't make you want that. It has to come from within you. Think back to why you went vegan in the first place, whether it was your health or the environment or the animal abuse or solving the world hunger crisis. I mean, gosh, anything, any of those reasons, think back to that when you're confronted with that because it's, it's what will keep you going from slipping up intentionally like that on your vegan lifestyle. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that summary wasn't even that great either, but um, that's what I have to say about that. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. So intentionally choose to go vegan, um, educate yourself so that you don't do things ignorantly out of lack of knowledge and um, have a great day.